end, eh? The way it's set up, this machine has three batteries. Okay, I have two 7.5s up here and I have a six. I just ordered another 7.5. Why wow. is that? Why I do you want, need, why do you need that much? Well, because it's gonna give, I need to be two, so I need more power. You gotta be mine. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at this stuff. Not only is this, this the snowplow push this through, but we've hit this a few times by now. It's really, really dense. We'll see how it happens. Okay. So it can ask, it, it handles everything I throw at it. The weight kind of, it kind of ends up floating and then I lose traction. So that's my back and forth. It's just to try to get that, that get auger the all the way down. And then when I hit that pavement, then I can go, I can go forward, but it is quite a, a light machine. So it, it kind of ends up floating, especially when I'm going up. If I'm going back down, it just pushes through. Here's your off position and when you put it in the first one it's going to give you how much battery you have left so I chewed up one one bar out of four and when you turn it all the way it starts your motor this is to engage the drive this is to engage the auger and then how does it work with the speed and the speeds you got like five a typical regular you got two back and I think it's five forward can you adjust the power that the auger shoots? Yes, so you have a regular mode, and if you have less, then you go into eco mode. Okay. It's not doing it right now. It's brand new. Yeah, we just got these machines. Well, not me, but you did. So with the Ego 2 stage, pretty simple. You have your lights, push on once, and then... I do like that it's got the lights on the front. So you push on, you just do your auger, push, do your auger, yeah. and then forward. So let this go, the auger keeps going, but you have to hold this. You have your speed here. It's kind of... Um, hard to find that it's not like a click you know it's, it's it's just this sort of just very very slight notches right uh, and then the the speed of the auger how far it shoots really changes how long your runtime is so right now I'm on turbo so I'm as, as far as it goes for the yeah. video but usually if I don't need to go too far I'll just turn it down I have two 7.5s in here okay and Usually I can do just my driveway. I can't do anyone else's. Yeah. I wish I had ten tents, two tents. That that this two seven point five is not enough. It was enough on my single stage, but with this uh, dual two stage, it's not enough. So why did you move away from the single from the single stage Toro? Uh, 
These are triple car driveways, so triple driveways. You don't have a lot of storage for the snow. So basically you gotta put it on your own lawn. And if I pick it up from here and throw it there, no problem, it throws almost as far, the single stage throws almost as far as this. The problem is when you gotta go and eat up the, that snow that you just threw over there, you end up having to push your way into the snow and this one is self-propelled. And how was it working with the, that rut at the road? The, the Same type of thing, you gotta kind of work it and you gotta, push. Use a, you gotta push. Right. This one you don't have to push, that's mainly the main reason. In terms of performance, single stage was pretty strong. How about the one battery? was able to do my driveway now I have three and it you know this is a lot of snow it would have chewed up two now I'm chewing up three batteries and it's barely making it and it is uh well in this stuff it's yeah. barely making it yeah with three batteries with three batteries which yeah. is why there's going to be another 7.5 <laughs> it is a heavier machine I do like the controls that one seems to throw harder it seems so to throw harder. harder so which wasn't the case with the single stages. No, the single stage of the, Toro. The Toro was a lot better. Yeah, it was quite a bit stronger. Yeah, and this, this is a much, much bigger machine than this guy. In terms of construction, this is all metal. It's their traditional Toro snowblower that they've dropped the electric engine on. So it's uh, tried and true. It's very solid. Controls are nice. These things chew up a lot of batteries. Yeah, get big batteries. Yeah. Don't have a choice. No. <laughs> All right. Anyway, that was fun. Till next year. Yeah. We'll have different machines next year. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> bigger batteries. <laughs> yeah, bigger batteries for sure.